Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for tonight's NBA slate on uh, Tuesday, January the 16th. Now, uh, we only have three games tonight, so it's a small slate. And at the time I'm making this video, you know, there's not... <laughs> There's not really a ton of props up because this is a really tricky slate. Um, looking at the Sixers Nuggets game, the the Nuggets their entire starting lineup is questionable for tonight. So at the moment, we only have props up for uh, I believe Jokic and I think KCP. Like there's no props up for Jamal Murray or Aaron Gordon or MPJ right now because the entire starting lineup is questionable. And then for the um, for the late night game, the Clippers and Thunder, the Thunder they're on a back to back. SGA was questionable last night. We don't know if SGA is playing today. Right now, he's the only player available for OKC in terms of props. There's no other Thunder up for player props besides SGA. So it is a really, really tricky slate. This is definitely a day that I think it does make a lot of sense to play a little bit lighter. Um, we'll have you know plenty of games tomorrow. We'll have a big slate to tackle tomorrow. But I still did want to come on and give you guys a couple props that I did like for this small Tuesday slate. So as always, uh, before we talk through these two plays, if you guys do enjoy these prospects videos, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not yet. And also, if you are new to prospects and if you don't have an account over on prospects, uh, you can sign up linked down below in the description or just use that promo code NOAH when you do sign up for prospects and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Uh, now, also do want to shout out Sleeper. We have a partnership with Sleeper as well. And if you guys don't have an account over on Sleeper, uh, you can download the Sleeper app either on your App Store or Google Play Store. Uh, they do have an app for both iPhone and Android. Download the Sleeper app, make a deposit, and when you use that promo code NOLA over on Sleeper, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $500. So be sure to check out Sleeper. If you guys have not yet, use that promo code NOLA when you do sign up to get your deposit bonus over there. Um, but let's talk through the prospects plays I do like for this Tuesday slate. Again, small slate today, guys. I think it makes sense. Uh, makes a lot of sense to play a little bit lighter today. Uh, but we're going to focus on this Kings and Suns game. You know, I was looking in the Sixers Nuggets game, but like, there's just not really a lot of props I like in that game. You know, maybe once we get some injury news on the Nuggets side, then there will be some stuff that comes up that I might like. And then in the Clippers, you know, Thunder game, I mean, the only props we have are Clippers guys. Yeah, you know, we do have props up for SGA, but we don't know if SGA is going to play tonight because it's a back-to-back. -back. He was questionable last night, so. Yeah, I'm going to focus on this Suns and Kings game. And the first prop I like tonight that we're going to talk about in this game, we're going to look at Kevin Durant's points prop of 26 and a half. And I like the over here for Kevin Durant. Now, last time I took it over on Kevin Durant's points prop, I'm pretty sure Bradley Beal and Devin Booker both combined for over 30 points, or both had over 30 points, and I think Durant finished with like 16 points. Um, it was the day that they played the Lakers. You know, KD had, what, 18 points, and I think Booker and Beal... Both had over 30 points, so let's hope that's not the case tonight. But looking at this this Durant points prop of 26 and a half, I do like the over here. You know, it's a pretty good matchup here against the Kings. This is definitely the best game environment of all the three games today. If you look at this Kings and you know, you look at this Kings and um, Suns game right now, the total in this one is relatively high. It's over 240, uh, 243 and a half total here, and then a four and a half point spread. So this is a game that should be competitive. The spread's only four and a half. In a higher scoring game like this, in what should be a fast-paced game environment, I think this does set up as a really good matchup, really good spot for KD. You know, you look at who the who the Kings have to guard him, and I, I just don't know if they really have anyone that can match up with Durant's length. Um, Keegan Murray, you know, maybe he guards Durant here, but he might guard Devin Booker. Um, I, I think it's a spot where you know Durant should be able to score at will, and you know Durant's usage has still been really solid lately, even though Bradley Beal, you know, is starting to come on. Like, we've seen Bradley Beal have some big games lately. Beal kind of got, uh, got off to a slow start of the season. He's been playing a lot better lately. Even with, you know, Bradley Beal having some bigger games lately, like, Durant has still had a usage rate over 24%, just like over their last five games. His usage rate has gone down a little bit compared to what it, you know, has been for the whole season. Like, for the whole season, Durant has a usage rate over 29%. Um, over their last five games, I think it's come down to, like, 24%. So he has lost a little bit of usage, playing, you know, more minutes with Bradley Beal. But even with, you know, him playing more minutes alongside Bradley Beal, like, he's still going out there and taking a ton of shots every game. Like, if you just look at his recent games, I mean, 16 shot attempts against Portland, 17 against the Clippers, 23 against Memphis, 21 against Orlando. He did only have 12 shot attempts against the Lakers, 
Um, that was, you know, it was weird to see Durant play so passive in that game because Durant is usually an aggressive scorer. Usually when he gets the ball, he does look to score. But if you're going to give me you know, 36, 37 minutes from KD here, which is what he probably plays in a competitive game, if you're going to give me 36, 37 minutes, if you're going to give me 20-plus shot attempts in a game with a 240-plus total, I'll take the over on 26.5 points for KD. Um, and looking at DK Sportsbook right now, they do have this over juiced minus 130. So you know, Sportsbook odds are, are favoring the over here as well on this points prop for KD. So that's the first play I like for tonight. And the next play I like on the other side of that game, we're going to look at DeMontis Sabonis' points prop of 20 and a half. And I also like the over here for Sabonis. Now, Sabonis, you know, you look at his game log lately, he's had some you know good scoring games. He's also had kind of some down games. But if you look at these recent games, the game against Philadelphia, he was in foul trouble. Pretty sure he also lost a few minutes in that game because of a blowout. And then this game against the Pelicans was a massive blowout. He didn't get any minutes in the fourth quarter in that game. But these games against Charlotte, Detroit, I don't think the Charlotte game was competitive, but he still went over that day. I'm pretty sure the Detroit game was competitive, and last game against Milwaukee was competitive. That game did go to overtime. But, like, you look at the matchups that Sabonis has had lately. Like, he's had to go up against Milwaukee, who has a really good rim defense, really good rim protector, and Brooke Lopez, not the greatest matchup there for Sabonis. Had to go up against Philadelphia. I did. I thought that would be a better matchup for Sabonis because in that game, uh, the Sixers did not have Joel Embiid. It was kind of weird to see Sabonis struggle as much as he did against Philadelphia without Embiid. But again, he did get into some foul trouble in that game. Had a big game against Charlotte, big game against Detroit. And then it obviously, you know, against the Pelicans, he lost minutes because of a blowout. But like I said earlier, this game against the, against the Suns should be competitive. So we should see Sabonis play really big minutes. And if you look at Sabonis' game log lately... Like, he's been playing almost 40 minutes in competitive games. He played 45 minutes last game against Milwaukee. Obviously, the game did go to overtime. But even at the end of regulation, he had still played 40 minutes. So he played 40 minutes in regulation last game. Um, even in foul trouble against Philadelphia, he still played 33 minutes. The Charlotte game was a blowout, only played 28 minutes. But against Detroit, played 38 minutes. Um, against Toronto, before, the, before that game against the Pelicans, they played Toronto. And he played 39 minutes against, against Toronto. He played 46 minutes against Orlando. I'm pretty sure that game also went to overtime. He played 35 minutes against Charlotte. Like he's been playing huge, huge minutes lately. The usage and the role for Sabonis has been you know, really good. Um, you know, the the Kings they they just run their offense through Sabonis, and like we see we see him just be able to do so much when he's on the floor. I was looking at some of his other props as well, like his PRA prop. I kind of like because Sabonis is one of these guys that that can contribute in all categories. Like, he's a great rebounder. He can get, he can facilitate as well. But there seems to be the most value right now on the over on his points prop because if you look at a lot of the sports books out there, um, I was looking at DK Sportsbook and Pinnacle, and they both they both have Sabonis' points prop set at 21.5. Now, they have Juice slightly favoring the under on 21.5 points for Sabonis, but right now on prize picks, we can get the line at 20.5. So, I like the over on 20 and a half points here for Zabonis. I think the matchup against Nurkic is fine. You know, the Suns this season, when it comes to like points in the paint, they've kind of just been like a middle of the pack team in terms of points allowed in the paint. We know Sabonis is going to do a lot of his damage in the paint. Um, I don't think the matchup's like great. I don't think the matchup's terrible though either. I think this is definitely a spot we can get 21 points from Sabonis, especially in a good map or in a good game environment like this and what should be a higher scoring competitive game. And again, like I said, like I said, uh, you know, a lot of the sports books right now have Sabonis' points prop set at 21 and a half. So those are the two picks I like for tonight, guys. Again, it's a really weird slate. I would recommend playing light tonight. There's just not a lot of props on the board. Only three games. A lot of injury tags as well. Again, like the Nuggets, you know, their entire starting lineup is questionable tonight. We don't know if SGA is going to play tonight on a back-to-back. -back, so Really weird slate, but these are the two props I like most from what's on the board right now. Um, as always, I will be giving out more plays for today. I do provide those over on Patreon. I'm not sure how many plays I'm going to give out on Patreon today. It just kind of depends on what gets added to the board and what I find that I like. Um, but for now, these are two picks you can lock in if you guys want to tail me on these two plays. Hopefully, we can hit both these plays and make some money tonight. As always, appreciate you guys watching the video, supporting the content. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, guys, be sure to go check out Prize Picks if you don't have an account over on Prize Picks. Use that promo code NOAH. When you do sign up, get your first deposit matched up to $100. But uh, that's all that I got for tonight, guys. Good luck on the slate. Appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.